Chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL, is the most common type of leukemia in adults. It typically affects older adults, though it can occur at any age, and is more common in males than females. CLL is a type of blood cancer that starts in the bone marrow. Bone marrow is the soft inner part of the bone where stem cells and three main types of blood cells are formed white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. We don't know the exact cause of CLL, but you can't catch it from somebody else, spread it, or prevent it. You might have a higher chance of developing CLL if a close family member has it, but the risk is small, and most people with CLL do not have a family history of it. In CLL, something goes wrong with the DNA of a type of white blood cell called lymphocytes, causing normal cells to become leukemia cells. DNA is the material that carries all the information about how our bodies look and work. Each piece of information is carried on a different section of the DNA, and these sections are called genes. Genes tell a cell how to make a specific protein, which is used by the cell to grow and survive. DNA is organized into tightly coiled thread-like bundles called chromosomes that contain thousands of genes. We have 23 pairs of chromosomes, each different in their length, shape, and the number and type of genes they carry. About 80% of people with CLL have at least one of four common changes to their chromosomes. Most often the change is a deletion, which is when part of your chromosome is missing. In CLL, these deletions typically affect chromosomes 11, 13, and 17. You could also have a change called a mutation which may mean you have an extra chromosome. Some people with CLL have an extra 12th chromosome, which is called trisomy 12. Or you may have other changes to genes TP53 or IGHV, called TP53 mutation and IGHV mutation. When you're first diagnosed with CLL, you might have genetic tests on your leukemia cells. One type of test is called FISH, which stands for fluorescent in situ hybridization. Doctors use the FISH test to look for changes to chromosomes and genes, such as whether part of a chromosome is missing or deleted. DNA sequencing is another way to look for gene changes. In CLL, doctors use this test to look for faults or mutations in certain genes. For example, they look for faults in the TP53 gene. They may also look at how many faults or mutations are in the IGHV gene, which helps them decide if your CLL is mutated or unmutated. These genetic tests help doctors decide which type of drug might help you if you need to have treatment and to provide information about how CLL might behave. If your CLL is slow growing, you may wait months or years before beginning treatment. However, if your CLL is fast growing or you have symptoms, your doctors may recommend starting treatment sooner. Developments in our understanding of the genetics of CLL have led to new targeted therapies. Targeted therapies work by attacking cancer cells directly without damaging normal cells. Research advances have revolutionized CLL treatment and new clinical trials continue to offer hope. Speak to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada if you'd like to learn more. It's important to know that you'll be better able to manage your CLL and have a better quality of life by reaching out. 
communicating with your healthcare team, and surrounding yourself with a support network. You're not alone. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada is here to help you understand CLL and manage the road that lies ahead.